Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. Let's have a look and see what's going on for us at the time you watch this video. Keep an open mind. Timing is fluid. And we're working with energies. Trust your own discernment in how and if you accept these general messages and where you think they apply in your own life. And thank you all for your likes, your shares, and your comments and your feedback. And for subscribing and growing our little community. Thank you for being kind to me and each other. All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time you watch this video. What's coming up for you? Okay, this is the Tarot Grand Lux for those of you who want to know. All right, bottom of the deck, what it's all about. The Four of Wands, very nice. Happy home, harmonious relationships, recognition, promotion, new job, new relationship, taking a relationship to the next level, marriage, social events, family gatherings to celebrate something, housewarming parties, you name it, okay, with the four of wands. That's nice. Okay, we'll take it. That's, that's good energy. Oh, I'm having my coffee as well, as I know a lot of you are having your coffee with me or your tea or your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner or just a drink hey okay so current situation six of cups this is a very nice energy is very pleasant it just talks about feeling at home this could be a um, a situation where someone's coming home if they've been away right this could be a situation where someone it's like a gender reveal party or it's someone letting the family know of a pregnancy or bringing a baby home um, for some of you I hear through adoption so that's interesting and that could be you directly or someone in your family okay this is just feeling at home feeling peaceful within a situation Feeling at home and feeling peaceful within a situation. I also get a sense of a long-held dream of yours is being realized, okay? Recent past, the fool. You took a chance on something. This could also be soulmate energy. I don't say that very often because I think people just run away with it a little bit, but... Um, this can be soul recognition that you took a chance towards. And that could be someone coming in your life as a friend uh, or someone you can develop feelings for or someone who shares the same goals and dreams as you and they can help you reach these dreams and goals, right? But there's that soul recognition. Okay, you took a chance on something. When you have the Six of Cups, but with the Fool, in my mind, the way I read it and the way it's coming up in this spread, it doesn't always... Um, it's not necessarily dealing with something from the past. It's just something that you you hold in your heart as a dream, uh, something from childhood that you're finally, because it's a new situation, right? New energy that you're putting into something that you are familiar with because it's been in your heart for forever, for example, right? But you took a chance on something. You tried something. So either, you know, it's to do with children, or is to do with you applied for a job or you applied for a home or you told someone how you felt or you asked someone out, I don't know. Because this could also be friendship energy. Where's it gonna go? Six of Wands. Ask and you shall receive. Getting what you want. So again, we have the energy of victory getting what you want and it's something that you recently went for somehow it could have been an official application it could have been you just sending a message making a call saying some words right it 
It's something, the way that it's coming up, it's something where you felt like, you know what, I got nothing to lose, but life's too short. I don't want to not ask the question. I don't want to not go for this and have it be a regret for me. And also, whatever it is that you went for, if it's about a thing or a person, I feel like they've been waiting for you to say something. Or this could be vice versa, where you've been waiting for someone to say something. To take a chance your way, to take any sort of action your way. Or to be free from something else, and that has happened. Because however that plays out, the outcome is you're getting what you wanted out of the situation, and you're getting chosen. If it's to do with any competition or application process or bid process, you're getting chosen above others. All right, so far so good. I'm liking this energy. So let's see, let's get more on the Six of Cups in today's energy. The Page of Wands, the Two Swords. Yeah, I really feel like someone's been waiting for someone else to talk. Someone's been waiting for someone else to say something to be in a position of wanting to take a chance, Page of Wands is, you know, I want to try something new, I want to try something different. Because with the Two of Swords, it's like, I can't do anything until you meet me in the middle. And that's why it's like, okay, we can be friends while you're getting yourself out of something else. I'm not sure that's ever going to happen, but I'm not going to take any further action towards you because I already, you know, I said what I said, I, I made it known, I made it clear. And then I just kind of left it with you. And it's like, if that was the way around, right? It's like, well, I'm just waiting for you to say something or for you to take action. I'm not going to do more than I've already done. I'm keeping my eye on the situation, but I'm not pursuing it actively, right? And it looks like they're finally speaking up. They're finally doing something. And again, if it's something you went for, applied for, it's like, well, I've done my part. I've done everything I can do. There's nothing else I can do with it, right? As far as I'm concerned, I'm kind of in a, at a stalemate. There's nothing else I can do about it. I'm keeping my eye on it, but at the same time, I'm not going to stay stuck here. But whatever the new energy, message, action was required from the other person or the other party, it is coming in could be that job offer they're finally making you that job offer they're finally offering you that promotion they're finally offering you that contract they're finally inviting you for an interview or a meeting you finally get that confirmation what was this fool in the past oh death card with the two of wands Something else had to end. Someone had to make a different choice. Someone had to make a choice to end one thing to come your way. Okay? And it's happened. They've made up their mind. Or they've actually done it with the fool. Because this is big changes happening. They've actually done it. They've freed themselves from a different path. Or again, the house became available and got put on the market. A contract ran out and now they can offer it to someone else. Whoever was in that job previously is no longer in that job. They can offer it to you. Whoever was in a relationship is no longer in a relationship. They can come your way. Because there, there has been that soul recognition. I feel like there's someone who is currently around you in some capacity. It could be as a friend or someone you work with or someone you see every, every other day. Or And it's like every time you see him, for you, it's like, are they going to say something? Are they going to do something? You're minding your business, but you, that is a thought in the back of your mind. Like, are they going to say anything? Are they going to do anything today? I wonder. But yeah, not only the choice has been made, but action has been taken with the death card and the fool. Whatever the obstacle was, whatever the, the, the um, I don't even know what to call it. Because it's not necessarily an obstacle. It's just that someone else was already in that job. Or someone was already, someone had a partner already, right? Someone was filling those shoes, okay? If it's about a job, if it's about a relationship, if it's about a friendship, if it's about a contract. It's like someone was already doing it, right? And someone else had to make a decision 
to end one contract, one commitment, one dynamic, choose a new one, okay, with the two of wands, which is you. Because there has been that soul recognition there. What I like about this situation is that whoever is approaching you with whatever this opportunity is, they're, they're unencumbered, they don't have baggage, they're not indecisive about it, they're like, no, this is what I want to do, let's do it, right? Okay, let's get more on this page of wands with the two swords, what's this communication, this offer, this invitation, nine of cups, ten of cups, Knight of Wands, whoa, Pisces, someone's about to, to pursue you under no uncertain terms. Someone wants, look at this Ten of Cups, I'm getting chills. You could have a cat, I have cats. They could have a cat or pets or they're just pet people. But someone wants this with you, someone wants happily rafter with you. I feel for a lot of you it is to do with your romantic life. They're, they're recognizing you as a wish come true. It's like Pisces is perfect. And not in an unhealthy put you on a pedestal way. Because I feel like they've seen you in other environments. They've seen what you are like as a friend. They've seen what you're like as a coworker. They've seen what you're like as teacher, student, different dynamics, right? And if this, you have no idea who this is, this, this has been a secret admirer of yours. And they've been, they recognize you, they caught feelings for you somehow, they were in something else, but they've been watching you and just being in awe of you, of your work ethic, of your, you know, loyalty to your family, to your friends, because they've been around you somehow. They have access to you somehow, where they can see how you are in different capacities. Could be online with the page of wands. They keep checking your page and they're like, oh my God, Pisces is so amazing. Pisces is doing this, Pisces is doing that. They didn't, they didn't actually talk to you about it with the two swords because something else, they needed to end something else. And that could have been an unspoken, like you could have been in a roundabout way, told them, listen, if we were both single, I'd be interested, right? And you just left it there. You didn't do anything with it. So you didn't actually say, <laughs> you know, go break up with whoever you need to break up with and come my way. You didn't say that because, you know, you know it has to be their choice, right? You don't want to make someone do something and then they're like, well, I never wanted to do it. You pressured me or whatever it is because that's just messy. You didn't do that. You didn't push. You made it known. You were yourself. You made it clear. But you didn't push. And this person views you as a wish fulfillment. This person's already in love with you by the time they approach you, if this is a love matter. Um, and it could be a friend, someone in your community, or someone from the, the way back in the day that you either didn't get a chance to have a start with for whatever reason. I get like a lot of missed opportunities or a lot of um, the timing was never right. Either you were in something or they were in something or th there was distance in between the two of you somehow. You kept missing each other, okay? But for, as far as you're concerned with that Nine of Cups, this is like, yeah, this is what I wanted. I can't believe I'm getting what I wanted. And with the Knight of Wands, this is again, that person who's determined to come your way, to make stuff happen. They may have to travel to come your way. They may ask you to go on some sort of trip. This could be like a BNB type thing, I don't know. Go away for the weekend, I don't know. There's a lot of passion, chemistry, attraction, but also a lot of things in common, a lot of emotion, a lot of love, and a desire towards a future together with that Ten of Cups. Pisces, whoa, what have you done to this person? But you know what? It's mutual. I'm loving this. You could be hearing from this person as they're coming back from a trip. This conversation could be happening as they're coming back from a trip. And at this time, they could be telling you, hey, I really want to talk to you about something when I get home. I'll be home in a day or two, right? So that could be how this is playing out. 
If this is work-related, job-related, to do with contracts, to do with projects, to do with any other type of opportunity, it's the same thing. Today you're getting the message, the confirmation. Hey Pisces, we're interested in you. We'd like to come we'd like you to come in for us to have a further conversation for us to have an interview or for us to discuss terms with you a follow-up if you've already had an interview okay and making plans for a trip to have a conversation to have a meeting and you're like i can't believe i got that <laughs> that's a dream come true this is especially the case if you have recently changed jobs but also like industries if you have changed what you're trying to do for a living or either started your own business and this is a big contract that you're about to land or a sponsorship okay type of situation or if it's you know what I've always wanted to work in that industry I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna take a shot I don't really have a lot of experience but I'm eager to learn whatever the case is because it's always been a dream of mine, or I used to, this is what I went to school for, but I could never find a job in that area or in that field back in the day, but there's loads of opportunities now, so I'm just gonna give that another go, right? That could be how this applies. Or I've always wanted to do that, I never had the guts to go for it, or my family never allowed me to do it, because, you know, whatever. Um, but I, I still, it's still a dream of mine. It still makes me happy to think about it. I still wonder about it. So I'm just going to go for it. And you did. And whatever it is, it's coming in. Whoa, Pisces. Pisces. I'm excited. Like, I'm getting excited. I'm getting giddy. <laughs> All right. What's the Six of Wands in terms of where things are going to go? The Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords, the end of you waiting to see what the hell is going to happen in this situation. The end of you, of, um, stagnation and delay whoever needed to walk away walked away it took some time this could also be where someone walked away previously but they needed time to heal so you're like that's okay you can heal we can be friends we can be whatever's and if when you're ready I'm still interested we'll do it and if not you know we can still just be friends there was no pressure there was no unhealthy attachment type right but yeah it's the end of delay the end of waiting the end of this situation being stuck and not only that it's going to pick up speed because you see the knight of swords there so this is something that's going to go from zero to 60 real fast why because everything's there someone just needed to make a switch from one thing to another the friendship is there, the knowledge is there, the excitement is there, the interest is mutual. But again, with the Two of Swords, it's a case of, I can't, I'm not going to push this. I've done my part, I'm not going to push this. Right? If you do something about it and meet me in the middle, it has to be done right. No attachments, no mess, no nothing. And if you don't, then you don't. We can just be friends, that's fine. You, there was no pressure, right? There might have been at one point in time, I don't know, that's a different matter, but as things stand currently, you were in a place of, listen, I'm just living life, I'm just being me. If you came at, at, at me correct, I would talk to you, but as we both know, you're in something else, so we never really talked about anything else, you know? But it's the end of stagnation, the end of delay. What else for Pisces? the world queen of wands and the seven of wands yeah we see we have a progression this is someone who is determined so we're going from the page so six of wands seven of wands page of wands knight of wands queen of wands sorry two of wands <laughs> we have a progression I feel like this is someone who has been keeping an eye on you but has had a boundary up with the seven of wands the passion was there the chemistry was there the interest was there the attraction was there feelings were there but this is someone who has been holding themselves back and that cycle is ending okay that boundary is coming down they're about to pursue you because they want a new cycle with you Okay, this is um, 
they're pointing out that the queen with the seven of wands came out instead of the king of wands because this isn't something that will feel rushed or forced or this person is not going to rush you or um, make you feel like you're being pushed into anything okay this is like quiet determination okay this is um, I know this is what I want I'm willing to do whatever it takes I'm willing to take my time you've given me time I'm gonna give you all the time you need but I want this I need that to be clear it's happening right <laughs> however you feel about it and whatever way you want to go about it we can talk about it but I'm not going anywhere anytime I'm very clear that this is what I want okay But this is big, Pisces. This could be, if it's love, this could be the person you end up marrying and settling down with. Because this is like the full package. You have friendship, you have love, you have passion. That's insane. For one another, it's mutual. You have shared interests, you have the same passions in life, similar hobbies, similar interests. You're both in this place of let's do this thing. Okay. There's no attachments. There's no baggage. Clear slate and a fresh start that could lead to a very happy ending. Whoa. <laughs> this is love life. This is, again, you're being chosen. You're victorious. You might have to, if you've been working from home, you might have to be outside of the home a bit more. Uh, you might have to be traveling more or just traveling in general for this role with the world card. You might have to relocate. But I feel like whoever this is, is helping you with the relocation if that's what's necessary. Or they're helping you get a car. They're helping you get situated. This is someone, again, who's very determined to have you on the team. Very determined to have you with the company. Very determined to work with you. And they're like, tell us what you need and we'll help you. All right, this is a benefactor, someone in your corner. If this is your business, you're winning a very big contract or sponsor sponsorship. And it's just the beginning. It is just the beginning, Pisces. This is someone who's gonna help you, teach you how, th how things are done, teach you about the industry you're in, teach you about how to market yourself, how to promote yourself. This is gonna be a mentor for you, not just a client or a sponsor or a backer or whatever. It'll open up a lot of new doors for you, Pisces, that you previously might not have had access to. This is someone taking you under their wing because they recognize your potential. There's that mutual recognition, yeah? And like, Pisces, you tell me what you need and I'll make it happen with the Queen of Wands. She's a go-getter. And she will inspire you as well. Could be a she for a lot of you, an actual she, but whatever type of energy could be anyone. And it's the end of a phase of, of stagnation, of not knowing what's going to happen. But yeah, I really feel like if this is a situation where you previously pushed and you're like, listen, we, we recognize this, we're, you have this that you're offering, I'm interested in it, I can offer you this, you're interested in what I got to offer, so we're, we can help each other here, right? There's mutual recognition. We would be great partners in this thing, right? If it's in a love way, if it's in a business situation, whatever it is, and you're like approaching them, making the effort, keeping in touch. I feel like something else was already there. So you could only do so much, but you made it clear, you stayed invested, you showed interest, you were persistent, you were constant and consistent, right? And I feel like whatever it was, it, it kept hitting dead ends because it had to be mutual for this to take off. And you were doing more than them or you were doing all the work. They weren't doing much because they were in a different contract. They were in a different commitment, whatever the case may be. And then you came to a place with the full energy where you said, you know what? I'm just going to take my hands off it. If it's meant to be, it will be. And if it's not, then it's not. And I have to trust that there's something else better for me. And that's if that's not coming together, 
I choose to believe that it's because there's something better for me. So I'm not going to get attached to that thing. If I keep trying to get it off the ground and it's not coming together, maybe I'm being protected from something, right? So you went into that mindset and just took your hands off it. And you just did you for a while with Six of Cups. This other person, party, individual, company, whoever they are, they kept an eye on you because you kept interacting, right? But they noticed that you pulled away. They noticed that you're more focused on yourself and doing what you want to do. They noticed that you don't seem to be pushing for anything anymore. They started keeping an eye on you. But I feel like you releasing expectation and you releasing attachment has given this person a boost of, okay, I need to, I need to do some things. Or like, they've been kind of looking at you from afar. They've been kind of spying you in a way, not a creepy way, but just keeping an eye on what it is that you do because this is someone who, you would, you would catch them looking at you a lot, but you tried not to look them in the eye and let them know that you know they're looking at you. It's like, yeah, you can look at me all you want. I know you're looking at me. I'm pretending I, I don't see, but I see everything, right? With the two of swords, with that veil there. It's like, yeah, I know you've been on my page. Yeah, I know you've seen my profile. I can see that. But I'm not, you know, going to say anything about it. You do you, whatever you want to do, right? So that could be the familiarity aspect. It's something you previously tried to get off the ground, but it might have been one-sided for whatever reason. And now they're coming at you. They're determined. They don't have any baggage. They don't have any attachments. They want something with you. They're determined. And it's a case of Pisces, tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. I will make it happen. Almost in a way to prove themselves to you with the Six of Wands. Especially if they've had to walk away from this before or you've had to walk away from this. With the Eight of Cups, it's emotional detachment. It's what I've been saying. Like you just took your hands off it. No expectation, whatever. Under the Four of Wands, we have the Five of Wands. Yeah, here's that tension, that conflict. What else can I do? It's not working. It's not coming together. The Moon. A lot of unspoken interest, unspoken emotion. The Magician. Manifestation at play, divine timing at play. Eight of coins, also meetings, interviews. A lot of work has gone into this, maybe on a spiritual level. Divine timing with temperance, and now it's the right time for this partnership to happen, for this union to happen. Wow, Pisces. Let's look at your oracle energy for the day for Pisces. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces. Okay, these don't usually fly out, but I can see that they're starting to. We're getting to know each other. Alrighty then. Okay, that's plenty. Thank you. <laughs> that is plenty. Okay, okay. That one too. Alright, bottom of the deck. Priscelli Bluestone. Pilgrimage. Sacred Sites. Grid Work. Dragon Energy. This is movement. This is traveling. A, tr a trip could be significant. Either you're invited to go on a trip, someone's coming to talk to you after they go get home from a trip, before they go on a trip. Okay, a trip is important. This is what's been going on. New Might and Black Dahlia, the void, ego shattering, soul fragments, emptying. You're like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's up. I can't see any movement. This is probably a dead end. I'm probably wasting my time, so I'm just going to take my hands off it. But someone was going through some sort of ego shattering, some sort of lesson, some sort of awakening, some sort of elevation. And you not putting added pressure on them is what has made them come your way, if that makes sense. But that's kind of usually how it goes. Lilac Spirit Quartz, community, healing division, teamwork, and freedom. Someone's freed themselves from a dynamic. They want to come your way, build something with you because they recognize a true partner in you. You want the same things, you share the same goals, you have the same dreams. Everything is mutual. Six of Cups, mirror ring. Okay, what do we got here? Septarian nodules, all right? Way shower, shake up the system, cellular upgrades. I'm telling you, 
there's been a big shakeup in this person's life. They have initiated it. They have go, gone for it. They have made room for you by releasing, removing something else, but also old traces of it, meaning they've also done the healing from it, if that's something that was required. I'm, oh my God, I'm loving this. Obsidian and Hellebore. Shadow mirror, I just said it. Deep healing, understanding, seer. You had this understanding, Pisces. You knew what this person needed to do and what they were going through. You might have had dreams about them. You might have seen things about them with the two of swords with the veil, seen behind the veil when it comes to this person. They might have been talking to you in, in your dreams, just not in real life. And you're like, okay. Selenite and Willow Tree, Goddess Spiral, Rites of Passage, Dreams and Support. I can't, I just said it. Rites of Passage, this was a big lesson for someone to find their way home. Four of Wands, Six of Cups, and that's you. And that's you. Okay? And whatever this is, if it's not your love life, if it doesn't involve a different, another person on a personal level, level, this is where you've gone through a lot of changes and a lot of transformations and you've been manifesting from a different place and now you're attracting different level types of opportunities. Does that make sense? Your life is what's changing because you did some pilgrimage, if that's how you say that, because you did some shadow work, because you did some deep healing and restructuring Okay. This could have been through therapy. This could have been through um, some sort of awakening as a result of a medical situation. And it opened you up to spirituality, faith, natural healing modalities. Maybe that's what you're now going into as a shift in your career. That's something you've always been interested in. Just never pursued because it wasn't a viable option when it came to jobs. Right? Big change, big transformation. Different level work, different higher level money, higher level abundance. Rubbing elbows with different people, being part of a different type of community where if before it was doggy dog world out there, now it's like you're part of a community where people believe in helping each other. People believe in raising each other up. People believe in inspiring and supporting one another. I'm getting chills. I'm loving it. All right, let's do your fortune cookie messages. So choose one, two, or three. This could be something that adds to the reading for you, clarifies it, confirms it. This could be a standalone message that is just going to help you through the day. Or if you've been struggling with a particular question, this could answer that. So let's see. You could choose any number or all cards. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck for everyone, we have opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. We've seen all of that in our reading. Okay? And it could be a brand new person that you have that soul recognition with instantly. Right? Or you've already met them. They were a stranger recently. Number one, we have perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Remember that Black Dahlia with the void? Don't give up. Okay. Number two, sexuality. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. We saw a lot of that. Opportunities for marriage. Saw that too. And good family life are strong. But if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. We also saw that. Okay. Okay. Number three, we have future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Oh my God. Either way, great social fun awaits. We saw that too. Beautiful. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for us today. Oh my God, what a reading. Oh, please come back and tell me what this is for you. For some of you, you've already gone through some of this. For some of you, it's, it's about to start. For others of you, you're on the tail end of it. So you're kind of, you can tell us about what exactly the transformation was. So. Looking forward to your thoughts, looking forward to your feedback, but what an amazing reading, Pisces, and you so deserve it, okay? We all do. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a fantastic day. Let me know what's up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.